Here's how you export in HitFilm. In the bottom left hand corner of your timeline, there are two buttons. Export Contents exports any area in your timeline where you have media. Export In slash Out exports a section you have defined in your timeline using the I and O keys. Clicking one of these buttons takes your clip to the export queue, where tasks like these can be stacked together and exported. A dialog box should appear, where you can choose to continue editing or compositing, or go to the export queue. If you want to export multiple items, you can click left, but I'm going to click to go to the export queue. You can also get to the export queue by going to the export tab up top. On the left here we have the queue, where you can view all of your tasks. On the right we have the export presets. These are predefined export settings. The default is YouTube 1080p HD, which exports a video in MP4 format at a resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels with the same frame rate as source. As you can see in the comment, it exports video suitable for YouTube, and doesn't upload it directly to YouTube or anything like that. Ok, let's go to the queue. Choose a preset, the YouTube ones are usually best, for your project. Click on Output here to select the destination for your file to be placed when it's done. When you're ready, hit Start Exporting at the bottom to start exporting your queue. If you've got multiple items in the queue, it'll go through them one after another. The export is done now. Just click the output link here to go to the location of the file in Finder or Windows Explorer. And you're done. Thank you for watching this HitFilm Quick Tip. If you want to know more Quick Tips, then check out the Quick Tips playlist. Otherwise, make sure you subscribe to my channel to get more HitFilm content like this, as well as more detailed content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay shiny. Bye.